In this video, instead of traveling around by myself and doing casual teaching, I actually go away with my family for a week to the south coast of New South Wales at a place called Jervis Bay. We have a relative who lives there in the town of Vincentia and so we stayed with her for a week. During that trip, I also spent one night at Canberra as I decided to go there to apply for my working with vulnerable people check so that I can hopefully start working in Canberra soon. On the way to Vincentia, my sister and I quickly stopped off at a place called Sublime Point Lookout and we basically just spent a little bit of time looking out over Wollongong. We didn't have very long though as we were in a 15 minute parking spot, but it was still a pretty great 15 minutes. We then hit the road again and drove past some quite nice scenery, including a train station that was just about on the beach. After we arrived at Vincentia, we went for a little bit of a swim on the beach before coming inside for dinner. The following morning, I went for a walk, which was about two and a half kilometers there and two and a half kilometers back. I walked from Collingwood Beach, if you know where that is, up to Nelson's Beach at Plantation Point, via Spikeball Beach and Orion Beach. And there was some quite nice scenery. The following day, I left for my little trip to Canberra. My first stop was at not sure how to say this place, maybe Jarrawangala National Park. And I spent a bit of time just at the lookout, admiring the scenery. I then stopped for lunch at the little town of Tarago. And it felt like a really nice little place and very clean and environmentally friendly as well. When I finally arrived at Canberra, I visited the Access Canberra Service Centre so that I could apply for my Working with Vulnerable People check. And then I went and explored Parliament House. The following morning, I visited the National Library of Australia and I used the free Wi-Fi to attempt to apply for teaching registration in the ACT. I then went to Ambie's Chai Bar and was served by my friend's aunt. And just from smelling the tea, I could tell that it was going to be the best chai that I've ever had. Back at Jervis Bay, I caught up with a good friend of mine who just happened to be at Kalbara at the time. <laughs> it was wet, windy and cold, but a friend of my friend decided that the rain was easing off and so we all went for a walk on rocks to look for fossils. 
It didn't last very long though. The day after that, I went for a walk from Collingwood Beach up to Huskisson Beach, basically on the border of Vincenti and Huskisson, where Moona Moona Creek is. And I was on the lookout for some interesting birds. On our last full day at Jervis Bay, I attempted a little open water swim. I swam 500 metres one way and then turned around and swam 500 metres back the other way. On my way home, I stopped off for a little while at Kayama Blowhole, which mostly seemed to blow as soon as I stopped videoing. I did get some footage though. There was much more at that location that I could have captured, but I didn't have much time because I needed to get home. <laughs> 